In this word problem question, uh, we're going to try and figure out the rate at which um, the volume of a cup is changing. Well, the first question isn't too difficult. It wants to know uh, how much water is left in the cup after 10 seconds. And that's just a matter of plugging in a value of 10 to the expression given. And we see that after 10 seconds, there's 540 milliliters left in the cup. The next question is actually relatively straightforward too, although it may not appear as such at first. We want to know the average rate of change between 5 and 20 seconds. So what we're going to do is figure out how much water is left in the cup after uh, 5 seconds, and in this case it's 960 milliliters, and how much is left in the cup after 20 seconds. Well, clearly there will be less because the water is draining from it. And so we see that there's only 60 milliliters left. Now the average rate of change is simply a matter of uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we get negative 60 milliliters per second as our average rate of change. The next part is a little bit more interesting though. And we want to know how fast the water is draining from the cup at 15 seconds. That's an instantaneous rate of change. Well, they're asking the how fast the water is draining from the cup. That's like saying what is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time at that instant. Instantaneous rate of change means to find the derivative. So if uh, v of t is equal to 375 times 2 minus 2t over 25 quantity squared, then uh, what we can do is take the 2 on the bracket Multiply it by 375, giving us 750, times the expression in the bracket to the exponent 1. But we also have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket with respect to uh, t, because it's volume with respect to time. So uh, the derivative of 2 minus 2t two over 25 is negative 2 over 25. Now, uh, this is an expression to give us the instantaneous rate of change of velocity with respect to time at any given time. So we plug in a t value of 15 and we get negative 48. Well, it makes sense that the derivative of velocity with respect to time is negative because the velocity is decreasing. So we can say that at 15 seconds, the water is draining from the cup at 48 milliliters per second.